I want to talk a little bit about kind of a principle of who's got the superior elbow position and who's got the inferior elbow position. So uh, if we've come in, we're doing stuff, we're playing patty cake, and he's here, right? His elbow is still a little bit outside his core rectangle, but mine is way outside my core rectangle. So I have the vulnerable elbow, he's got the superior elbow. I want to correct that by either making his elbow position force deficient outside or force deficient inside. So what I mean is I want him either outside or inside with his elbow. He's a little bit outside and he's pushing, so he's got the superior grip. I want to change that elbow position. I can either take my support hand outside or inside. Uh, just kind of depends on logistics and whatnot. But if I change him, now I've moved that inside and I am in a force efficient position. So just the very Shiho kind of uh, position there. He's, he's grabbed and he's starting to move me here. Support hand changes that. And then I'm able to even finish that without having to put a second hand on it. Or you can, I'll go slow, this way, come back, and finish it. But what I did was I changed who had the superior position. Uh, those were outsides. I can also come from the inside and do that same kind of deal. I can pass up uh, and do, you know, an encircling lock of some sort. Uh, anything like that. The other thing uh, is I can take him up at the same time I'm going in and switch the hole. A little bit more complicated, a little bit harder, right? I'm going down and him coming up and then going more into almost Kimikyo kind of position, right? This is what I'm into. Uh, so if you ever find yourself to where you're typically anytime they get the superior hand grip to where they're in deep or you mess up and don't leave the golf ball or the egg in there and you end up in that position, they're, they're going to force you immediately into an inferior elbow position. So that's the first thing you got to attack, right, is attack that. Uh, another little secret with that is if he's tight, I'm tight. If I'm tight, he's tight. So as I, as he's squeezing to attack, I'm going to squeeze and then I'm going to release. Right? So the second I release, he has to release. It's human nature. Uh, if you, I don't know if you can even see that on there, but if you look at his muscles here, you can see, see the little dent there. Squeeze as hard as you can. Right? If I squeeze and then I release, his muscles relax, right? We actually got a little suction sound on that one. If I squeeze and I release, he releases. So squeeze, he's, he's got in a superior position. His elbow's on the inside. Mine's up high in a weak position. I squeeze, release, and then I move him to an inferior position.